Hi, good afternoon all. The boys are back in action. They host the Maple Leafs, continuing this homestand in another must-win game. Coming up. Okay, so they have to win again. We will see, folks. We will see. Um, bad news. Detroit got a point in their game today. Uh, in that out-of-town game uh, in Florida. I thought Florida would beat them like 5-1 to one or something. Not to be. Detroit had them one nothing with seven minutes left and blew it. Luckily, they had a power play. They could have made it 2 to nothing. And right after that power play ended, they went up ice, kind of got a lucky goal, and then Florida kind of got another lucky goal. So, you know, and then it went to... They, then uh, Detroit tied it on the power play. Detroit not score regulation goal in their game. And then uh, lost in a shootout. So we'll take it. We'll just take it. We know that Washington is who we're trying to catch anyway at this point. But um, I was disappointed in that outcome. I really was that they got a point, Detroit. You know. But hey, they played a good game and got it to overtime. So, all right. So the Sabres folks are playing uh, the Leafs, and we'll see how they show up in this one. The Leafs right now are sitting with a 91-point season. Pretty much not going to catch Boston. Uh, they're not really going to move. I think they're going to finish right where they are, third place in the division, uh, barring some sort of a run. They do have two games in hand, so they could get it up to 95 points and be four points out of first. They could still get in the mix of it, but I think 5-4 and won their last 10. They're not exactly red hot. We'll see. Uh, so there's much more for the Sabres in this game going on, I believe, than the Leafs. The Leafs know they're in, they're healthy, they're okay. Uh, Sabres at home, 18-18-1, 6-4-0 our last 10. Our goals for and against is a minus 1. And we are 35-34-5 and five overall. Now the Leafs are a plus 39 goals for and against. They've scored 266 goals, they led in 227. On the road, though, they're 21-9-6. This is a really good road team. They're better on the road than they are at home this year, Toronto. Not something most people talk about, but uh, hey, one thing I want to point out. The Maple Leafs, 72, regula uh, 72 games, 29 regulation wins. The Sabres, 74 games, 29 regulation wins. This is not going to be a runaway, I think, like... Uh, some of their fans might anticipate because they just don't really win all the time in regulation like a team like them should. But they did get that act together. That, at one point, they were winning like one out of every three games in regulation of their wins this year. Um, so guys, uh, of their games, I should say. Guys, uh, it looks like it will be UPL and Nets. As expected, I'm not surprised. And I think this is uh, kind of UPL's last stand, in my opinion, to be number one the rest of the year. It's really going to evaporate that quickly if he has another bad outing. Levi is taking the reins, I believe, from that point on the rest of the season. So let's hope UPL really, really slaps together a, game, a good game. We need it tonight. We can't have another bad outing by UPL. It has to be good tonight. So I'm going to just hope that that happens. I'm going to leave it there. Guys, I plan to get some videos up. I think what I might do to de-stress myself, I might make a few during the game. <laughs> Let you guys suffer watching the game. And uh, make a few videos. Get, and then watch, uh, this, you know, after I'm done the videos and they're uploading, then I'll watch the game. So we'll see. We'll see, guys. So I really hope we win this game, guys. Because it's the difference we don't know. By the end of the night, we could be eight points out of a playoff spot or four. Or five. You know, there's all sorts of possibilities is what I'm saying here. Or six. It could be four or five or six or eight. Like, there's all sorts of possibilities here, guys. And if we could, you know, get to or seven. Like, there's four between eight is the number today. This is a huge day for us. If it could go our way, if, if the Bruins could beat the Capitals in regulation and the Sabres win this game, doesn't have to be in regulation, just so you know. If the Sabres could win this game, then that sets up a real showdown with Washington. Okay? 
if the Sabres win, the, this is not a game that, you know, we can win in extra time and still be right on their tail. But we need them to lose in regulation and not get a point. Detroit got a point and Boston's in Washington. And what a statement win that would be for the Capitals, everybody, if they win that game today against the Bruins as a, um, you know, as they look to close in on a playoff spot. So, but hey, if I have my choice, I definitely want to see Washington make the playoffs over uh, Detroit if it comes down to that. Capitals at home are a very good 20, 11, and 5. And the Bruins on the road are 19, 8, and 9. So we'll have to see. We just have to hope the Bruins have a really good game today, guys, and win this for us. So for today, we're going to be part-time Bruin fans while they're uh, trying to get that game out of town. And the Sabres hopefully will win their game because if we don't take care of business, you know, we have to take care of business today. We need goaltending today. And I'm going to tell you, I'm nervous about the goaltending with UPL right now. I am. But he has come back off bad outings and slapped together good games. So let's hope he does that today. We need a good game from UPL so badly today. So I really hope he shows up. I hope he's stellar in nets. Gets us the win. We're all happy after. And the Bruins win in regulation. And we got a race again all of a sudden especially if going into next game makes it so big, guys, on our home ice. So that's the, that's the best scenario we can hope for. Win, and they lose in regulation, the Capitals to the Bruins, and my goodness, we're four points out all of a sudden. Just like that. Um, let me check that, guys, because Detroit, if I'm right, before I close this up, uh, they picked up a point. Uh, if I'm right, we're five points behind Detroit, though, right? Let's see. Let's just confirm that. We are currently, currently five points behind Detroit. So we could be three points behind Detroit. Right, right. They got the one point. Uh, we could be three points behind Detroit, four points behind the Capitals with a win today. Let's go get it, guys. Let's get this game and let's put the, let's put the pressure at least on these other teams. Let's make them work for it. Bare minimum, at least. See you in the post game, and I'll see you in some other videos soon.